Welcome students. Welcome to this amazing world of mathematics. Today I am going to teach you a very magical trick with the help of which you can solve partial fraction question in very few second. We all know that integration is very big topic. So now I will try to solve some parts of the integration how you can solve those lengthy or you can say time taking question very small time and their usage in ITJ exams like in JEE mains questions and all. So let's get started. So these are the five or you can say four forms of partial fraction. The first form where the denominators are linear factors and they are non repeated, right? So our trick will magically I mean solve this kind of question. Then next is linear factor, but a repetition is there. So you can use this trick for some part of it. So mainly we are going to focus on this part only. Remaining are what you can say. This also you can solve because as you know that it's a linear and drawn repeated factor. Then only in quadratic factor we can't use this. So the trick which I'm going to tell you will work where linear non repeated factors are there where linear non repeated factors are there. So try to see it carefully. Let's take an example. If this is the standard form, you can say repeated factors are there. So we make them into this form a by one factor b by one factor. If third form means third denominator part is also there, you will put c by third factor like that means every linear factor will have one constant. This you all know. Then what is the basic method? We take LCM and then we put each factor equals to zero and then equate LHS RHS to get the value. That is the normal method which everyone know. Now I'm going to tell you a very super quick shortcut for this. Then you will able to solve it in very few seconds. Let's take this with an example. Like in this question, integrate the following 3x minus 1 by x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. So there are three linear factors. So according to the method, 3x by 1, x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. So each factor will have one constant, right? So b by x minus 2, c by x minus 3, right? You can see that every factor means the first step is common. Now, According to normal method, you take LCM, so A and B and C equation will be there, then each factor you equate it to zero, lengthy method. Shortcut, what is shortcut? Suppose I need A, now carefully see this step, okay? Means it will take you some five minutes to understand or you can say first time, but when you are in practice, you will love this method. Like if I need value of A, so its factor is X minus one. So X minus one equals to zero, that means X is equals to one. So hide this x minus 1. Again, I'm telling you, hide this x minus 1 and put x equals to 1 in the remaining 1. Put x equals to 1 in the remaining 1. So what it will become? So a value will become 3 minus 1, 2, 1 minus 2, minus 1, 1 minus 3, minus 2. So a value will become 2 by minus minus plus 2 by 2, 1. That's it. Your a value has come. Didn't got it? Again, let's do it again. Now suppose I need B value. If you need B value, put its denominator to zero, like X minus two equals to zero. So I will hide X minus two now. I will hide X minus two now and put X equals to two. So three twos are six, six minus one, five, two minus one, it's uh, what you can say one and 2 minus 3, it's minus 1. So answer will become minus 5. Very simple. You can see that. What I'm doing is like again for C. C denominator is x minus 3. So I need to put x is equals to 3. So I will hide this. Literally, I will hide this like this. Okay. You can just hide this like this. Now in the remaining part, you need to put x is equals to 3. That's it. So 3, 3 is a 9. 9 minus 1, 8, then 3 minus 1, 2, and 3 minus 2, 1. So now 2 1s are 4s are. So the answer will become 4. That's it, sir. In very few seconds, you are able to get the value of each factor. Just again, I'm repeating whatever factor you want, put that 
means factor equals to zero. Like if I want A, put its linear factor to zero. Now hide that in the LHS part and put in the remaining. You will get your value. That's it. As simple as that. After this, everyone knows how to solve this. It will become like integration of this part. So A by X minus one plus B by X minus two plus C by X minus three dx. Now simply I just need to put a, b and c value and integration is 1 by x integration is log x. That's it guys. That is the this magical trick. You will not find this anywhere. This magical trick you will not find anywhere. Only we are telling you this trick. Now I will take one more question which came in IIT JE. January 2023 means this year only. Just imagine. 2023 question you can solve now within seconds by using the previous method means little bit modification will be there but it will be used each and everywhere where you need to use partial fraction of linear factors like in this question let fx is equals to 2x by this x square plus 1 x square plus 3 now if i take x square as t its differentiation is 2x right so what i can do is x square equals to t 2x dx will become dt. So that means my integration will become dt by t plus 1 into t plus 3. See that it's a first form of partial fraction, non-repeated linear factors, right? Now, what you need to do is let's take it on the other page. Just remember this year question itself. So my integration was dt by t plus 1 into t plus 3. So we know that how to solve this. Quickly we take it in a rough 1 upon t plus 1 into t plus 3 is equals to a by t plus 1 plus b by t plus 3. Right. Now what you need to do is if you need a then I will put t equals to minus 1. So I will hide this. Put minus 1. Minus 1 plus 3 it's 2. So answer will become 1 by 2. Don't remember, means remember that in this entire thing, you need to put this value. Not in this or this entire thing. So it's 1 upon. So 1 upon minus 1 plus 3, 2 over. Then similarly for B, T plus 3. So I will put T equals to minus 3. So I will hide this and put T equals to minus 3, minus 3 plus 1, minus 2. So B will become minus 1 by 2 because 1 is there so minus 1 by 2 like this see over in few seconds the value of a b constants are over now what you will come back to this part this will become means because this is what a by t plus 1 plus b by t plus 3 dt right so now a is what 1 by 2 by t plus 1 plus b b is what b is minus 1 by 2 by t plus 3 dt now integration if i take half common this is log t plus 1 plus minus log t plus 3 plus c now i need to replace t by x square because i have taken t as x square so my f of x will become half log x square plus 1 minus log x square plus 3 plus c. Now according to the question they are saying f of 3 is this. f of 3 is this. So f of 3 is equals to half log 3 square 9. 9 plus 1 10 minus log 3 square 9. 9 plus 3 it's 12 plus c. Now equating both sides because f of 3 is already there. So it will become half log 5 by 6 and here it will become half log. We know that log m minus log n is log m by n. So log 10 by 12 plus c. You can see that both will get cancelled. So c value will become 0. So c value will become 0. So my f of x is this much only. Let's go back to the question. So f of x is coming as 
uh, what you can say half log x square plus 1 minus log x square plus 3 like this now they are asking f of 4 so f of 4 is equals to half log 4 square 16 plus 1 you can say 4 square is 16 plus 1 17 minus 16 plus 3 19 so the answer will be log 17 minus 19 a option as simple as that so in this way you can solve any linear factor based partial fraction within seconds my boys seconds means my students you can solve it within seconds again i'm telling you whichever factor you want just hide it means put x minus 1 to 0 means x equals to 1 hide it substitute in this that will be your value of a or means whatever factor you want so i have shown you the application in the this year only it came so it comes Partial fraction is a very crucial part, it comes. So, this trick and technique will help you to solve such kind of question. I have solved in the way, means just simply take the linear factors. If I you need A, hide A value and put it there. If you need B, hide B means uh, denominator value like t plus 3 is t equals to minus 3, means I need to put uh, t equals to minus 3, and for this, I need to put t equals to minus 1. Here, and here after hiding after hiding okay because denominator can't be zero so this is the super magical trick which will help you to solve partial fraction based question i have so shown is application also in the question which came in 2023 just imagine okay so stay tuned for some more this kind of magical tricks okay till then keep learning